most of my professional life came to be identified with reforms of one sort or another. Most of them were successful and they're nice because you essentially get those things in the public service world through peer recognition. Terry Moran, I'm now retired. I started here in 1967, graduating in 1972. I grew up in Reservoir, had a very stern Catholic education, got into law at Melbourne. Before it really started, I decided that wasn't for me and sort of literally uh, uh, walked down the, the road from where I was living with my parents and enrolled in social sciences. The founders of the university had envisaged a university that was a rather more personal place than the larger universities were becoming. La Trobe at that time only had about 500 students. The academic student ratio was so rich that you had a lot of contact with uh, very experienced uh, professors and so forth, many of whom had come to La Trobe themselves looking for something new. There were lots of demonstrations, sit-ins. It was time to get out of any connection with the Vietnam War to start to respect uh, the arts and cultural life within Australia. There was quite a lot of excitement around those times. La Trobe seems to enrol students who come from all the different groups within our society. Melbourne is, as, along with Sydney, one of the most diverse cities in the world now, and a unique part of Australia's success since, um, probably since the 60s, is the extent to which, uh, without difficulty, we've abandoned the white Australia policy and embraced happily people coming in great numbers. La Trobe and other universities, they're all a critical part of making progress through education achievable without students having to worry as to whether they will be regarded in some other way than their simple academic results when it comes time for universities to make selection decisions.